The Tale of Custard the Dragon by Ogden Nash Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really o truly o little pet dragon. Now the name of the little black kitten was Ink and the little gray mouse she called her Blink and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard but the dragon was a coward, and she called him Custard. Custard the dragon had big sharp teeth, and spikes on top of him and scales underneath. Mouth like a fireplace, chimney for a nose, and really o truly o daggers on his toes. Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of beer bears, and Ink and Blink chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage, but Custard cried for a nice, safe cage. Belinda tickled him. She tickled him unmerciful. Ink, Blink, and Mustard, they rudely called him Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the really o truly o cowardly dragon. Belinda giggled till she shook the house, and Blink and weak which is giggling for a mouse. Ink and Mustard rudely asked his age when Custard cried for a nice, safe cage. Suddenly, suddenly, they heard a nasty sound, and Mustard growled, and they all looked around. Meowch, cried Ink, and ooh, cried Belinda, for there was a pirate climbing in the window. Pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right, and he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. His beard was black, one leg was wood. It was clear that the pirate meant no good. Belinda paled, and she cried, Help, help! But Mustard fled with a terrified yelp. Ink trickled down to the bottom of the household, and little Bl Mouse Blink strategically mouse -holed. But up jumped Custard, snorting like an engine. Clashed his tail like irons in a dungeon. With a chatter and a clank and a jangling squirm, he went at the pirate like a robin at a worm. The pirate gaped at Belinda's dragon and gulped some grog from his pocket flagon. He fired two bullets, but they didn't hit, and Custard gobbled him every bit. Belinda embraced him, Mustard licked him. No one mourned for his pirate victim. I ink and blink in glee did gyrate around the dragon that ate the pirate. Belinda still lives in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little gray mouse and her little yellow dog and her little red wagon and her really o truly o little pet dragon. Belinda is as brave as a barrel full of bears and ink and blink ch chase lions down the stairs. Mustard is as brave as a tiger in a rage but Custard keeps crying for a nice, safe cage.